It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Hello, it's me, Sally. Welcome to Be My Neighbor Day Camp, where together we can grow up great a little more each day. I'm a teacher. When I'm in my classroom, I'm happy to see healthy students ready to learn. Being healthy means we eat foods that are good for our bodies, and we play and exercise to keep our bodies strong. A healthy body allows us to learn and grow. What foods do you like to eat that are good for your body? Here are some healthy foods that I can think of. Milk, apples, oatmeal, broccoli, eggs, and carrots. And what about activity? What's your favorite type of physical activity? I like walking and jogging or riding a bicycle. Do you think that activities like swinging and climbing and playing hide and seek count as exercise? They do. Today at camp, we're going to learn about why it's important to keep ourselves healthy. We're gonna do some fun exercises, play freeze dance with Daniel, visit with neighbors, and even learn how to make some delicious recipes. It's going to be a great day at Be My Neighbor Day Camp. So let's get started. I thought we could start off with some movements with Miss Elise and Coach Hooper, okay? Are you ready? Everybody, up, up, up. Hey neighbors, how are y'all doing today? So I know we're about to go do a great big exercise. So before we did that, I thought we should start with a yoga warm up. You ready? So first we're gonna take off our shoes. We're gonna come to the mat in something like I like to call tabletop. We're gonna bring our hands and knees to the mat and we're gonna start with a back warm up. You ready? So we're gonna first go into cow pose. So inhale, fill the belly up with air. Look up to the sky. Exhale, round the spine, cat pose. I'm gonna round it like a great big eye cat. Inhale, cow pose, look up to the sky, fill that belly up with air. Exhale, cat pose, round the spine. Even if you like to go say moo when you're going into cow pose, that's fine. That's how I remember how to whip pose is what. Exhale, cat pose, give yourself a nice meow. And then come into tabletop. And then from here, we're gonna curl our toes. We're gonna lift our hips out to down dog. Sink your heels down. And then we're gonna pedal out our feet like you're riding a bicycle. So we're gonna pedal them out back and forth, giving a nice stretch to the calves. Oh, that feels so good, doesn't it? Stretching's important. And then from here, we're going to walk our feet to meet our hands and come to a ragdoll pose. So from here, we're just going to grab our elbows, bend our knees slightly so we can have a nice stretch of the hamstrings. And then maybe rock side to side. Place our hands down to the mat. Give yourself a nice big inhale and we're going to round the spine, lifting up. And then you're gonna bring your hands out to the side, reach them up to the sky, reach, reach, reach. And then come down to mountain pose. Don't you feel warmed up guys? Enjoy your workout. Have a great day. See you next time. Good job. Now that we're all warmed up, here's Coach Hooper. It's me, Coach Hooper, and I've got my special whistle, which means it's time to get up and exercise. <coughs> wow! It's also time to get a new whistle. Okay now, let's get moving, because today we're going to exercise like we're at a party. Swing at the pinata. Move those arms and swing. What's inside? You'll see. Just swing. Get 
just begun. Woohoo! That was so much fun. Let's do more. Ready? We're going to exercise like we're in a marching band. First, move those legs and march. You've got it. You're marching on. your wrist. You're making noise. It's loud but cool. And play the trombone. Slide it back and forth. You're making music. The crowd is going wild. First, move those legs and march. You've got it. You're marching on. Through the parade. You've got it made. Now play the drums. Use your sticks and your wrist. Being in marching band is really good exercise. Now let's pretend that we are cowboys and cowgirls. Are you ready, Coach Hooper? Let's do it! We're going to exercise like cowboys and cowgirls. Lift up that saddle. It goes up on your horse. Lift it up with those arms. Yeehaw! thirsty when you're playing or exercising? It's really important to choose the right drink when we're thirsty so we can keep our bodies strong. Here now is Ava to tell us more. What do you drink when you're thirsty? Hello, I'm Ava and it's time to rethink your drink. Why? Because some drinks are healthy and some aren't. Kids who regularly down soft drinks and other sweetened drinks are more likely to be overweight. That's not healthy. The best way to tame your thirst? Water. I call it HGO because I'm going to be a scientist. Water doesn't come with all the sugar found in juice drinks, soft drinks, and sports drinks. There can sometimes be a lot of sugar in drinks, and sugar is not really very good for us. That's why grown-ups sometimes say no when we ask for sodas or sugary drinks. Like our friend Ava said, choosing water is the smart choice. And we can drink water all day long because it's really good for our bodies. Let's choose water. Ah, I wish there was a way that we could remind ourselves to make healthy choices every day, like choosing water or healthy foods. I have an idea. Let's do an art project that we could hang on the refrigerator that will help remind us to make good choices. This will be fun. Let's get Lucy to help. Hi guys, I have a really cool project for you today. What is we're it? Gonna, sorry, we're gonna make a healthy me plate. Here's what you'll need. Magazine or grocery store advertisements. Markers. Or crayons. Scissors. Glue stick. And don't forget the white paper plates. First, you look for pictures of foods that are healthy for your body and then cut them out. Take your picture of healthy food that you cut out and glue it to your plate. Are pickles healthy? <laughs> if you don't have magazine or grocery store ads, you can easily just draw on your healthy foods with crayons and markers. Hang the plate you make on your refrigerator to remind you to make healthy choices. This activity has been made possible by PNC Grow Up Great. Did you happen to include any foods that you know are good for you, but you're not really sure if you really like them or not? Sometimes it's difficult to try new foods, even if you know they're good for you. Let's check in with our friend Daniel and see what he does about trying new foods. Yay! <laughs> for you. For Dad Tiger. There you go. Here's some veggie spaghetti for you. And some veggie spaghetti for Daniel. Um, Mom, I don't like veggie spaghetti. But Daniel, honey, you've never even tried it before. 
No, I haven't tried veggie spaghetti. So then how do you know you don't like it, if you don't try it? Try it? I don't know. What do you think, Miss Elena? Huh? <laughs> well, Toots, in my house, we say, We gotta try new food, cause it might taste good. We gotta try new food, cause it might taste good. I'll try veggie spaghetti. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of crunchy, munchy, with squirty tomatoes. I like it. Veggie spaghetti is good. Right, Miss Elena? Um, no. Veggie spaghetti is not my favorite. Do you think I can just have plain spaghetti? Okay. Plain spaghetti for you and a little salad on the side, okay? Thanks. Ooh, carrots! I love, love, love carrots! And I'm glad I tried the veggie spaghetti. Me too! We gotta try new food, cause it might taste good. We'll try a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> we could try some crunchy broccoli. And we could share with everyone. Or we can try to taste a bit of chicken. Then we'll know what we like. Try a new food, it might taste good. Try a new food, it might taste good. We could try a juicy slice of orange. It tastes so good when it all goes down. And now, for our special dessert made by Daniel. Banana swirl! Banana swirl? <laughs> it doesn't even look like bananas, but it looks smushy yummy! <laughs> mm, banana swirl? I've never had that before. <laughs> Dad! We gotta try new food, cause it might taste good. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll try banana swirl. Mmm. It is smushy yummy. I'm glad I tried it. Mmm. <laughs> Me too. Mmm. Yummers. Yummers. <laughs> so remember, you gotta try new things because it might be good. Right? I thought it would be fun to visit some kitchens in our neighborhood to find out more about healthy foods and recipes from a couple of our friends, Jermaine and Miss Jennifer. Hello, I'm Jermaine. Did you know we eat our meals way too fast? So it's time to slow down, and here's why. It takes your stomach about 20 minutes to tell your brain that you're full. So chew slower, you will enjoy your food more, eat less, and maybe even find out what your family's up to. Can we talk about fruits and vegetables? Kids our age need one cup of fruit every day. That's 32 grapes or one small apple. And we need to eat one and a half cups of veggies every day, like 12 baby carrots or two stalks of celery. Making healthy food choices help to keep our bodies healthy and strong. Did you know you are what you eat? Foods rich in calcium will actually help us go taller. Having enough iron in our diet makes us less tired and better focused at school. We become smarter. To make you and your brain grow. Thanks, Jermaine. You're right. We are what we eat. Hi, I'm Miss Jennifer, and we're in my kitchen today. And we're going to talk about how to eat healthy fruits and vegetables. So we're going to talk about how to pick them, how to wash them, and how to eat them. So let's get started. I picked some carrots out of my garden, and I just picked them, and they still have dirt on them. Because the carrot part is the root, and it grows 
under the ground. So we're going to take the carrot off, put them in our water for washing, and we're going to leave the leaves on the side. We don't eat the leaves at the tops of the carrots. But what we do eat is the leaves of the lettuce. So on lettuce, we don't eat the root, we eat the top. So I'm going to take the roots off in the soil and put it back in my garden. I'm going to put that right here. I'm just going to kind of twist and put it in my water. There we go. Just move it around and inside my water I put a little bit of baking soda. Baking soda we use in cooking, so it's safe for our bodies. And we, it also does a great job of washing fruits and vegetables to get the extra dirt off. So I put a little bit of that in there too. So got some apples. So what do you look for when you buy apples? Apples, we want them to be shiny and firm. And did you notice these are two different kinds of apples? So there's always a different variety of fruits and vegetables. So this one is a more red color and a little bigger, and this one's a lighter color and a little smaller. It's because they're a different variety of the same of the same fruit. So we'll put these in our pot. And pears. When you look for pears, you don't want them to be shiny so much. You want them to be a little dull, and you actually want them to be a little tiny bit soft. And we know they're ripe and sweet. I'm going to put that in our pot too. Cabbage. I love cabbage. So cabbage, if it has any brown spots on the outside, on the leaves, you can just peel the leaves off. Just like that. Just take them off. But what you want cabbage to be is heavy, and the leaves are firm and packed in there together. So we'll put that in our pot too. So get in there with some water in your hands. That's the fun part. Rinse, 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 wash them off, and then we're gonna rinse, rinse, rinse. So here we go, we're gonna put them in our colander right here, and we're gonna wash them off. There we go. So when you go to the farmer's market or the food pantry or the grocery store with your grown up, look for items that look good to you because your belly and your mind are gonna help you pick out fruits and vegetables that look good to you. So go and pick them out. And if you can, start a garden at home. You could grow lettuce, carrots, you could go, go grow cabbage. My cabbage isn't ready yet. We'll put them in our colander. There we go. We're gonna rinse them off. There you go. Rinse, rinse, rinse. All right. While these are rinsing, I'm going to show you how to scrub carrots all by yourself. You can do this by yourself. Get a rat, a towel, a clean towel, and you're just going to grab a carrot, and you're going to rub the carrot in the towel. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Use your muscles. Use your muscles. There we go. Look at that. Clean carrot. There we go. Let's see. We'll do one more. Scrub, 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 scrub. You can take off the this part here. Yeah, that's like the root that goes down even a little bit further. You can eat it, it's not gonna hurt. It's not as sweet. All right, we'll set that aside. Good. Now we have our plate. I'm gonna put all these items on our plate. So we have our pear, our carrots, all of our lettuce here. Wow. Look at all this food. What am I going to do with all this food? I can't eat all this by myself. I think I'll see maybe if my neighbor would like some. And my family. We sit down for dinner or have a snack. Right here, you could have a snack. You could eat all of these without cooking them. You can eat them raw. You could eat your cabbage raw, uncooked. Lettuce, you can eat uncooked. Apples, of course, pears. Carrots are really good when they're not cooked. Just eat them, just like right now. They're sweet. So, you can cook them. Have a grown-up cook them for you, too, either way. So, sit down. Share a meal with your family. And when you do, calm your body. Breathe in and check in with your belly and see, God, how hungry am I? And while you're eating, check in. Think, am I full or do I want some more to eat? And let's say thank you to the sun to help them grow and the rain, and the soil, all the plants need all of it, just like our bodies need healthy fruits and vegetables for us to grow strong and have calm minds that can learn well. So now let's head back to Jermaine. He's got some recipes for you to try at home. Remember to check with the grown-up before you start. 
take half of a banana and push a popsicle stick into the bottom. Put yogurt on a plate and roll the banana. Put granola on a plate and roll the banana in it. Place banana on wax paper on a plate. Put in the freezer and let it freeze. Mm. Take chunks of banana and put peanut butter on the ends and press it together. Break pretzel sticks into small pieces for legs and antenna. Dab peanut butter on raisins and add eyes. Sprinkle with coconut and you have a super cool caterpillar. Put a jelly slice between bread, then a slice of cheese between bread. Cut each sandwich into four triangles. Arrange the triangles on a plate and add a pickle slice. Place a tomato at one end and look, you have a creature sandwich. This healthy snack is crunchy good. Spread peanut butter on a tortilla. Drizzle with honey. Sprinkle your favorite granola on top. Roll it up and slice. Mm. And it tastes so good, you gotta try it. Thanks, Miss Jennifer. Thanks, Jermaine. We are going to visit a lot of neighbors today. Would you like to visit with Miss Anne for story time? Miss Anne always reads the best stories. Hello, hello. Hello, friends. Herbie and I are so pleased that you could visit again today because we have a very special book to share with you about how kids can make really good choices about caring for themselves and helping their bodies grow, grow, grow. Would you like to read with us? Our book today is My Amazing Body. My Amazing Body, A First Look at Health and Fitness by Pat Thomas, illustrated by Leslie Harker. You have an amazing body. So do all the other people in the world. You have a brain that can do more complicated thinking than any computer. You have a body that can move in more different ways than any robot. You have five senses, sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell, that tell you lots of important things about the world around you without you even having to ask. Your body can do lots of other things on its own too. Your heart beats, your lungs breathe, and when you graze your knee or get a cold, your body can make you well again without you having to tell it to. But your body can't do everything on its own. It needs some help from you. There are lots of ways you can help your body stay fit and healthy. All of them are easy and most of them are fun as well. What about you? How many different things can you think of that help keep your body healthy? How often do you do these things? Foods contains vitamins, minerals, and energy. These things help you to think and play and grow. When you eat fresh fruits and vegetables and protein foods like meat, milk, and beans, you are giving your body the things it needs to grow. But when you eat lots of sweets, chips, and soft drinks, you are not giving your body the vitamins it needs. These foods and drinks may taste nice, but if you have them too often, your body may become sick. It's okay to eat these foods sometimes, but the best way to stay healthy is to eat lots of different kinds of foods every day. Another way to help your body is to use it in every way you can. That means getting lots of exercise. Exercise helps your muscles stay strong and fit and helps your bones grow. When you are running and jumping and stretching, you are exercising your heart and helping it to pump blood all over your body. You are also exercising your lungs, helping them to breathe in more air. What about you? Do you like to run and jump around? 
What are your favorite types of exercise? How often do you get to do these things? There are other good ways to help your body stay healthy. When you bathe and brush your teeth, you are helping keep yourself clean and free from germs. And while exercising is good, resting is important too. We all need plenty of sleep and to have times when we can work or play quietly. Your body is always giving you clues about what it needs. When your body needs rest, you feel tired. When your body needs food, you feel hungry. And when your body has had enough food, you feel full. When you feel a pain, it's a message that part of you needs care and attention. It's important to listen to the messages your body is sending you. Even healthy people get ill sometimes. It's never fun to get sick. But when you are sick, your body is doing something amazing. It is making a memory of that illness so that next time you can get better more quickly. You only have one body and it is the most important thing you will ever own. Your body is built to last you a long time. And if you take really good care of it, it will. And that's the end of our story. What a great story, right? Now that you know the importance of taking care of your body, you can help make good choices that will help you grow, grow, grow. Our neighborhood needs strong, healthy people just like you. Thank you for visiting today. We always enjoy story time with you. See you next time. See you next time. Now let's see if Mr. Gregory has a song for us today. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mr. Gregory and yes, I do have a song to share with you today. I'm so glad to be wearing this hat today to sing this song because this hat belonged to my father. And my father was a wonderful gardener. He loved all the flowers that he grew, but the thing that gave him the most joy was growing his own vegetables in the garden. Something he loved to do was to go out and just pick the vegetables right off the vine and bring them inside and wash them and slice them and just eat them for lunch. Vegetables like tomatoes and cucumbers and squash. Now, to tell you the truth, when I was young, about your age. I didn't like vegetables very much. In fact, sometimes I just push them around on my plate and hope they'd go away. My father told me one day, you know, I was just like that. I didn't like vegetables either. But my mother taught me a song that helped me remember to try vegetables every day. And after I began to try them, I wouldn't forget them anymore. I would eat them and I began to really like them. He taught me that song that his mother taught him and I'd like to pass it on to you. Do you eat your vegetables, your vegetables, your vegetables? Do you eat your vegetables each and every day? Yes, I eat my vegetables, my vegetables, my vegetables. Yes, I eat my vegetables each and every day. It sounds like you have this. Should we sing it again? Let's do. Do you eat your vegetables, your vegetables, your vegetables? Do you eat your vegetables each and every day? Yes, I eat my vegetables, my vegetables, 
my vegetables. Yes, I eat my vegetables each and every day. It's so important to eat our vegetables. I just feel better when I do. Life seems better when I do. I hope you'll remember to eat vegetables each and every day. See you again. Thanks for visiting. Bye now. Thanks, Mr. Gregory. Well, I think we're just about out of time for today's Be My Neighbor Day camp. I am so glad we were able to spend this time together. We learned a lot today about making good choices and how important eating healthy and getting exercise is to being the special people we are. Hey, before we go, would you like to play freeze dance? It's really fun and great exercise too. Let's try it. Everybody stand up and let's play freeze dance. And now it's time to play Royal Freeze Dance. Everybody dance to the music. But when the music stops, freeze. <laughs> so fun. Freeze. Dance to the music. Dance, 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 dance. Freeze. Dance. <laughs> <laughs> I like dancing and freezing. Hey, do you want to make believe with me? Let's make believe that we're having a big freeze dance party with Tiggy and his friends. Everybody freeze, don't move. We're playing freeze dance. Yeah. Go, 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 move around. <laughs> Jump up and down until the music stops. Everybody freeze, don't move. Isn't that terrific? That was so fun. We are so glad you're here for Be My Neighbor Day Camp. We'll see you next time. <laughs>